Breaking news out of Detroit. Several new indictments have been handed out just moments ago. The federal indictments come from a corruption probe that has been circling former Mayor Kwame Kilpatrick for years. It's a story we first broke yesterday on Action News at 6, and the Action News investigative team is live in downtown Detroit outside the courthouse with the very latest for us. Scott Lewis, what can you tell us? Well, I just got some information on my BlackBerry. It's just coming across right now. It's a news release from the U.S. Attorney's Office saying that they're going to have a news conference at 4 o'clock today. And let me read from it. They said they will be talking uh, about a superseding indictment against Kwame Kilpatrick, Bernard Kilpatrick, Bobby Ferguson, Victor Mercado, and Derek Miller in regards to the City of Detroit corruption investigation. This is significant if it is, as we've been hearing, that these will be racketeering charges. This investigation has been going on for six years now, and if this turns out to be racketeering, this would be the big hammer dropping in this corruption case for a number of reasons. We've known that the feds have been looking at Bernard Kilpatrick and some of these others for some time, and everybody was wondering what's taking so long. If indeed this is a racketeering case, these cases are very tedious, they take a long time to build, and that would explain why this is dragged on for so long. But if the feds do get convictions in a racketeering case, the penalties are heavy. These folks could get 15 to 20 years in prison. On top of that, the government could collect proceeds from any kind of racketeering activity that was going on. Basically, what they would be charging is a RICO statute that was created for organized crime, and that would be alleging that they were uh, doing an ongoing criminal enterprise. Uh, so at this point, we don't know exactly what the indictment will be, but we are getting word from the U.S. attorney that uh, there will be indict an indictment against Kwame Kilpatrick, Bernard Kilpatrick, uh, that's uh, uh, Kwame Kilpatrick's father, Bobby Ferguson, a contractor who had strong connections to Kwame, uh, Victor Mercado, who was at one time the director of the Water and Sewage Department. That would indicate that some of these pay-to-play allegations they were looking to uh, into involved water department contracts. And the last name is Derek Miller. Derek Miller is someone that that's probably not very well known to Channel 7 viewers, but uh, he's a pretty influential guy. He had very strong connections to Kwame Kilpatrick. Their friendship went all the way back to Cass Tech High School. He worked for Kwame Kilpatrick when he was uh, up in Lansing as a state representative and then followed him into the mayor's office where he held some key positions. So again, we know that some announcements on indictments are going to be coming down at 4 o'clock, according to the news release from the U.S. Attorney's Office. The entire Action News investigative team is down here covering the story. We'll have the latest for you on Action News at 5, 6, 7, and of course on the web on WXYZ.com. Scott Lewis reporting live from downtown Detroit. Back to you. All right, you know, Scott, this probe has been going on for six years now. It netted 14 felony convictions. You bring up this falling under the RICO statutes. Under that, you talk about the penalties being stiffer. I'm curious, though, too, isn't there more of a, uh, a concern for prosecutors where they have to have more of a, a process in regards to proving guilt that it becomes more difficult under the RICO? That's a really good point because uh, that's the other side of the coin here with the racketeering statute, if that's what they're using. Uh, what we have today uh, is going to be announced a, an indictment from a grand jury. That's pretty easy to get. It's a very one-sided process. What happens essentially is that the prosecutor goes before these citizens on a grand jury, lays out his side of the case or her side of the case. They bring witnesses in, but there's nothing said on the defense. So it's very easy to get a grand jury indictment. Going into court and getting a conviction, a conviction on a racketeering statute is a whole nother matter. However, the federal government has had a couple of embarrassments recently on indictments. Uh, Carl Marlinga, the former Macomb County uh, prosecutor, was charged, found not guilty. The same with Jeffrey Figer. They had another case involving gambling with the mob that they lost. So my case, uh, my guess is that in this case, the feds are as buttoned up as they can be if they're handing down more indictments today in this corruption case. I would think so, Scott Lewis. Us reporting outside the courthouse. Thank you very much. We want to remind our viewers at 4 o'clock that uh, press conference will be held by the United States Attorney's Office to talk about the indictments against all these players in this corruption probe. We'll be carrying that live again on Action News at 4 o'clock. Yeah, big deal. Yeah, it sure is. Back to regular programming now.